Hey guys, welcome back for another great episode. Today I want to show you how to uh, get more subscribers out of your leads that are coming to your website, okay? Now you may be using a blog format similar to what I have here at the White Hat Mastermind, uh, basically where you post your blog articles on the home page. Well, there are a few different ways uh, that you can capture your subs or your um, your your visitor's email address, and the best way to do that uh, would be using a modern technique uh, using pop-ups. Now, pop-ups are extremely um, versatile and they are extremely effective as well. And as you can see, normally uh, what people would do is they would put a little opt-in over here in the sidebar, offering like a free ebook if they enter their email. Um, address or whatever so uh, that's more of an outdated approach to doing it uh, and the way I found that really works the best way is to use a welcome pop-up now basically what a welcome pop-up does is once a visitor lands on your website the pop-up the uh, opt-in form pop-up will appear let's say if you set it to 10 seconds or 20 seconds after they've landed on your site now what this is good for is just kinda surprising them um, with an offer or uh, with a free uh, ebook of, of, of some sort. I personally don't use ebooks. I like to do video tutorials because they're more personable, but really it's kind of uh, it's personal preference. Whatever you choose to do is completely up to you. But you know, um, ebooks have been around a long time, and that's pretty much the main thing people have been using to capture um, subscribers um, over the past several years. So uh, what I want to show you today is just a cool plugin. It's called Ninja Pop-Ups. Now Ninja Pop-Ups is very versatile. It allows you to um, use a welcome pop-up as well as an exit splash pop-up. And if you're not familiar with an exit splash pop-up, it's basically, um, let's say you have another tab open up here. Well, if you go to exit off of the site and to close the tab, you'll get a little box here in the center that says are you sure you want to leave and if they say uh, yes then it will close the tab however if they say no uh, your other pop-up will appear so that's just another way to keep people on your site I personally don't recommend exit splashes on uh, blogs but if you wanted to use an exit splash on like a sales uh, a sales funnel or something like that you know I'm totally game for that and it does help with conversions um, at the end of the day so I, I'm not really gonna you know talk bad about them you know, a lot of people may think they're not that ethical, but it's really up to you in how you choose to run your business because there are no rules after all. It is your business. So uh, what I'm going to do is just click on uh, this button right here. And actually, um, I'm using this in my revolutionary slider. And this is actually a link, okay? And this is not a, a, a image or anything that I've wrapped uh, with the uh, Ninja pop-up shortcut or anything like that. I've actually inserted a link here and then I wrapped this link with the Ninja pop-up form so it will appear once you click this. Now this is called a clickable pop-up and basically uh, this is how it works. I'm just going to go ahead and click the button. Now as you can see the pop-up appears. It looks really nice. Um, you know, and then I just talked, I asked people, you know, for their email address if they want access to my uh, favorite themes and plugins. And if they enter uh, their, their name here, it will take them to the thank you page where they can have access to that kind of stuff. So uh, this is just another option opposed to just doing a welcome um, pop-up. Basically, it, this gives people the option to um, be added to your subscriber list on their own without it being forced. So if you wanted to do it, um, using a link on your site or if you wanted to uh, wrap an image button um, with the ninja pop-up you could do that as well so let's say you created a graphic of a button or whatever and you wanted people to click that to um, to ha to activate the pop-up uh, what you would do is you just wrap the um, the button image in the ninja pop-up short code uh, so so it's really easy to do. It's it's super easy to use. And uh, let me just go ahead and jump over to the demo site of the Ninja Pop-Ups. And I'm going to just walk you through some different demos here and just click on these different links. As you can see, these are links. So um, once you click it, it is link activated. And that's how the pop-up will appear. As you can see, uh, this popped up as well. Real nice looking pop-up. They do have a ton of different um, styles. And you can really customize these um, these form pop-ups really however you want them to be now here's another version uh, this gives you the option to press yes or no that's optional 
here's another one. This is really cool. You know, if um, you wanted to ask somebody a question or uh, depending on what they answer is going to determine on what they see. That's another good option, um, you know, and this can be really effective in certain situations. But there's just a whole host of different ways you can style uh, your ninja pop-up forms. I personally like a simple look, um, not too big and, and definitely not too much uh, sales copy because I've found that the less sales copy you use and, and the more uh, targeted it is and, and it, it'll be more effective that way. But here's one with an actual background drop. So you can insert your own custom back, background drops with Ninja pop-ups as well. And then this is an image or you can add buttons or an opt-in form as well. However you choose to do it is up to you. Now here's an example of a video pop-up. And you can simply click play and it'll appear right here inside the pop-up. That's a really nice option as well, guys. And I'm sure you can add your own little opt-in form there as well with the Ninja pop-ups. And as you can see, this is a really minimal uh, pop-up, but you know they're just asking for email, not the name. This will actually help with conversion rates if you have a good headline and a good subject uh, or a subheadline here as well. So uh, that's it. I just wanted to show you uh, basically the different styles they have um, on the Ninja Pop-up demo site. And now what I'm going to do is just take you over to my site. And what I'm going to do is just basically show you a couple simple things you need to do in order to get your Ninja pop-ups working correctly. So you want to go over here after you install the Ninja pop-up plugin. And if you're not familiar with installing plugins, you just go to plugins and um, you know add a new plugin or whatever, okay? And it's really simple. You just drop the zip file in and you start uploading it. Super simple, guys. It shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but if you get you know snagged up with that, just let me know and I'll help you out. So we're going to go down to Ninja pop-ups here and we're going to go to settings. Now the first thing is the general settings and basically this uh, gives you the option in, to enable or disable the plugin uh, globally okay and also for mobile devices so you probably want to keep these enabled as well uh, that way they do pop up on an Android phone and an iPhone as well uh, then we want to go down to welcome pop-up and after you've created your pop-up okay you can set which pop-up you want to appear as the welcome pop-up okay uh, this is gonna basically be the uh, the glo global pop-up that appears on your whole entire site. Now you can choose whether you want it to appear on the home page, um, all your pages, and all your blog posts, and your category and archives, however however you want to do it. I personally don't want it to appear on everything, so my welcome pop-up will appear on all my main pages, and it'll also appear on my home page where my blog is. And that's just how I prefer to do it. You can do it however you want. And there's another option here for an exit pop-up and you can choose where you know you want the exit pop-up to be and then there's some simple settings here to just kinda go over now the most important thing here is the mailing list manager okay now what you need to do is just um, if you don't have an account with GetResponse I suggest you do that but this plugin will integrate with Aweber, MailChimp, GetResponse um, eye contact, constant contact, all the uh, popular autoresponders I personally like GetResponse it works really well <clears throat> because you just enter your API key here and and the rest is history okay now you can come down here and select uh, your mailing list um, from your autoresponder account which is super easy then you just go down here and hit save changes and it also gives you the option to promote ninja pop-ups as an affiliate if you have an account with Avado that's completely up to you and uh, if you want to set up an account with Avado I will leave a link to uh, that site as well in the um, show notes. Now here's some advanced settings. I suggest that you don't me really mess with these unless you know what you're doing. Um, you might have to disable like a JavaScript or something like that, or a jQuery script or some some form, if you run into problems with your theme or if it's uh, give you know having issues with other pr uh, plugins. So um, I will leave that up to you. But like I said, don't mess with these unless you're actually experiencing problems. And if you do experience problems, you can just simply go to the Ninja pop-up forum and ask them for assist assistance and they will help you out there. Now, uh, a really nice thing about this plugin, guys, is it's a one-time payment and it's only $17. So if you know, you've know you looked around, and, and I'm sure you probably have, and if you're like me, you're really thrifty and 
um, oftentimes you don't want to spend a lot of money on a simple plugin like this. So that's why I found this plugin for you guys. It's only $17. There's a lot of other services out there for capturing leads on your WordPress site. And I mean, the prices are ridiculous. They have, you know, 30, 40 dollar reoccurring payments. Sometimes they're a hundred, 200, $300 just to buy the plugin one time. Um, I've seen a lot of them out there. I'm not going to call them by name, but I think it's ridiculous that they would charge that much for an opt-in form plugin like that. So, um, that's why I found Ninja Popups. It has it's well supported. It has a good team of developers behind it that will um, answer any of your questions if you go over to uh, their support form as well. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now that we got these basic settings out of the way, I'm going to go up to pop popups, and as you can see, I created a few popups here, and um, it does tell you your conversions. Um, your conversion rate and the ID of your pop-up here. So um, when you add the pop-up to your WordPress page, you're gonna add it into a short code and you wanna make sure you have the uh, the ID for that pop-up, okay? That way it knows which pop-up to appear. It's really simple. And we're just gonna go to add new pop-up real fast and I'm, I'm just gonna show you um, the back office here and how to kind of customize your own pop-up. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is give it a title. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call mine demo for now. And then you can choose between all these different uh, themes. If you haven't bought the theme package, that is also an option to upgrade to. You can do that as well. But it does come with these default themes. And every time you select a new theme, it will pop it or uh, show it to you below in a preview image. And there's a lot of great options to choose from. But all you got to do is you can see this is how it's going to look like. And you can change the colors, uh, the bullet points, and the, the headline of these. You can also ch uh, change the width, but I, I suggest keeping the width at default. That way it, it also uh, shrinks in a mobile browser as well. Because if you mess with this, it won't be responsive at that point. But they are responsive by nature, okay? <clears throat> so what you can do is come down here and enter your, your headline here, your subheadline, and or you can enter a, another headline here as well, or another subheadline, excuse me. And then you can choose um, the actual font size of your headline and your subheadlines. And then you can add main content. Really simple stuff, guys. You can also add a video embed code here if you want to add that in as well. So just something to think about. You can actually rename these to whatever you want um, for the different fields. But I prefer just to keep them default for, for now. And if you want, like if it takes a second after people submit their name and email in the opt-in form, um, you can you can put like please wait or something like that and basically that will show on the actual button uh, after they submit their their email and name to your uh, web form it'll, the button will just say please wait and then it will it'll redirect them to their the thank you page that you created so that's it's a really cool option there as well and then you know there's just some various options over here it's pretty self-explanatory it's not too complicated you can choose the opacity of your background if you want uh, in, on some of the templates, not all of them, okay? Okay, so basically uh, for the welcome pop-up, you can choose um, how many seconds into the personal landing on your website you want the pop-up to appear, okay? And I just put 20 seconds because uh, it, it's just a good time that works for me. I figure after 20 seconds of them being on their site, on my site, they might be interested in joining my newsletter. So um, you can set that up as well. So, you know, it's just real simple settings here, guys. Now, I'm not going to create this pop-up because I already have my own. But there's one last thing I want to show you, okay? And I'm going to go over to my pages. Okay, now we're here on one of my pages that I created for my site. And what I'm going to do is just show you guys how to activate these uh, the Ninja pop-ups on a per-page basis. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom of your site, you'll see it says Ninja pop-ups. It says Welcome pop-up and Exit pop. Uh, what I did is... Uh, I disabled it for the welcome pop-up, okay, for this page, but um, you can also activate it on a per-page basis, and you just select the form that you want to be an exit pop or a welcome pop-up, okay, okay, guys? So it's really simple to um, use on a per-page basis as well. Now I'm going to scroll back up here, and I'm just going to show you where I inserted the Ninja pop-up and, and how it works on a site, okay? Okay, now to add a Ninja pop-up to a page, all you have to do is do this, okay? I've inserted an image right here, and you can also insert your own image button if you want. 
And then you just want to click on this button right here. It has that little uh, little icon. Looks like feathers of some sort. And then you can choose whether you want the pop-up to appear automatically or if you want it to be based off uh, someone clicking on the image. And I'm going to set it up as someone clicking on the image. So I'm going to make this the home page pop-up. And I'm just going to scroll down and hit insert. Now once you insert it, it does give you uh, this sh short code, but you actually have to wrap um, the button with a ninja pop-up, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just grab this right here where it says ninja pop-up, and I'm gonna paste it here, and then I'm gonna add one of those little short code uh, thingies at the end. I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> so basically that's how you do it, and then your button will be wrapped with a ninja pop-up. Well, that's basically it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little presentation, and I hope that you've seen how important it is uh, to, to collect the traffic that comes to your site's email address and convert them into subscribers. Because eventually, uh, once you get them on your mailing list, you can turn them into customers, which is the lifeline of any business, okay? So um, make sure you guys check out the show notes and I do use my affiliate link if you want to purchase the Ninja Pop-Up through my link um, below this video. I'd appreciate it. It definitely helps me out and it allows me to continue to do these videos uh, for you every week. Okay? So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.